greetings this is deepak from techpex.com today i'm here to present you a system which will remove the noise from the ecg signal which is the major issue now these days for the signal processing in the biomedical field so here is a adaptive filtration process to reduce the noise from the ecg signal when i click on this button it will give me a option that is the data set which we have taken from the internet that is uh, physionet.org and other many websites where these data sets are available for the research purpose as i am selecting one of the signal that is this one or you can browse any other one these are the number of values so that's why they are uh, very close to each other but in actually they are in the form of the ecg signal so this is the original sample which we have calculated then uh, as the adaptive filtration process it is mandatory that you have the desired signal along with you so how much noise that it can be tolerable uh, in the desired signal that should be given so i am uh, clicking on the <coughs> predicted sample that is the desired signal file so next step is to apply the adaptive filter the filters which we are using is the lms and uh, rls so we will do the comparison between the two when i click on the adaptive rls signal you can see this is the original one this is the estimated and this is the adaptive output adaptive filtration by the lms algorithm even we can see that uh, particular uh, signal in this uh, uh, graphical user interface then to show the peak signal to noise ratio at it is increasing with respect to the single sample so uh, signal to noise ratio is increasing it means noise is going to be decreased then when we apply the rls algorithm it will generate this signal uh, and also showing us the comparison between the two that which one is the better rls or lms as you can see the peak of the lms is going above than the rls so it is much better than the rls technique so this is the rls signal which we are obtaining as some of the peaks in the rls are going to be increased with respect to the original sample so there is less psnr with respect to rls so this is how we can use these particular uh, algorithms for the uh, ecg noise filtration with using the adaptive filters so hope you people like this video and get the concepts of the adaptive filtration so we will be back soon with a new project in the same field and uh, thanks for watching the video bye bye